Welcome to Krakow, Poland, and welcome to the hackathon being organized by Deutsche Telekom, Mobile Edge X, and Samsung. And what we have here is two of the companies and, and teams that are participating. So, Tim, please present yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, great pleasure being here. Um, lots of amazing teams and wonderful ideas. Uh, so, I'm Tim, I'm from Ford Game. And uh, our whole goal and mission is to create mobile games that will bring the connected generation, as we call them, back into streets playing actively. And of course, we're using augmented reality for that. Hi, I'm Justine. I'm from 1000 Realities. So we are also really glad to be the part of uh, this event. And what we are doing, we are making augmented, really, uh, augmented reality easy and accessible by creating hardware agnostic, technology agnostic, large-scale positional tracking. So let's set the stage a little bit for what, what we're trying to do across the, the three companies that are holding this event. So Mobile Edge X is pulling together all of the edge infrastructure from the operators and making it really easy access, easily accessible to people like Tim, people like Justina, to develop solutions and applications that run really close to their end users. And with this hackathon, we're doing it on top of T-Mobile Poland's infrastructure as part of the Deutsche Telekom group and using Samsung handsets. We're about 12 hours to 16 hours into this hackathon. Many people have been up all night. Tim, you said you'd slept for three hours. He's, uh, so he's fully rested. Uh, one, one of the side effects of pulling people together is that you start to actually cross-pollinate and cross-understand and see new opportunities. And one of those is just what we want to highlight in this interview. And if we go over to you, Tim, and just describe the challenges you were having. Well, as I, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the whole goal of what we're doing is to create games that feel real and games that are worth playing. And the uh, immediate biggest challenge with that is to get things synced, get the positions of the players, get the actions of the players uh, synchronized as they are in the real world, because the real world has no lag. So that's an immediate challenge that definitely doesn't have one correct answer to it, but it's all about also uh, the convenience, because we wanna iterate faster. We wanna, uh, we wanna have a many games uh, delivered as fast as we possibly can. And so what would be the easiest solution? Something that would get us set on track to success and just not even, not even bother to care about this connectivity issue. And this is where Mobile Edgex comes in and basically says, there you go, there's a system for you. You can take it, you can use it, synchronize whatever you need and uh, all of the positions of your players are all of a sudden beautifully transmitted between one player to another, to the third, to the fourth. That's exactly what we need because it's a, we're game developers. We want to care about a, how the game looks and feels and incredibly convenient for us to just, you know, use exactly that technology. A, if speaking about, a, about specifically challenges, when one of the biggest challenges that, a, that we're trying to a, address is to actually include everybody, because kids are different, uh, the phones that they're having are different, but we still want them all to play together. And this is this massive dragon of a challenge comes to mind, which is cross-platform cross shared augmented reality experience. Then we're actually getting uh, to a really, really beautiful world of more collaboration. And I would, I would definitely uh, happily pass it back to Justina to take, to take on that. Because we have a solution for all those challenges, meaning we have just one solution that is operating uh, on the edge of the network, that is actually invisible for the developers. With just one SDK, we can create games for any type of a phone, any type of the smart glasses, because remember that the smart glasses will also soon be part of the gamer's world, and they will be more and more significant. And right now, every single producer, they have their own SDKs, and uh, those market is developing really fast 
fast, really quickly, and it is changing constantly. So um, I really feel sorry for all the gaming companies trying to like follow on with with this progress. This has to be amazing, amazing challenge, and uh, I think we've got a we've got a solution for that, and we can we can help with it. And, and just to be clear, I don't feel sorry for gaming companies anywhere. They have the best job in the world. I. Tim turned up 14 hours ago and he had a problem where he needed high, high synchronicity synchronization across devices and he wanted to do that across any device. It doesn't matter about manufacturer. Justina has a platform that can deliver exactly that solution in a reliable, predictable way because it's integrated into the mobile edge. So wherever the mobile edge is, it seamlessly works and you and everybody can play, no one should be left out. So as a final note, Justine, congratulations. You you and Thousand Realities were just awarded a, a European Union grant. So what are you gonna do with that money and what does the future look like? So we are going to do a lot of R&D and the future would be really bright and awesome. We are going to have super stable solution that is um, available of the incredible things, way more advanced than what is available on the market right now. I won't share the details, let's keep it a bit secretive for a while, but expect some awesome augmented reality experiences soon. Congrats on that. We're all looking forward to what these guys are coming up with and we can use it. So on that note, whenever you see an advertisement to join a mobile edge hackathon somewhere around the world, please come along and meet people like Tim and Justina. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>